All right, Pisces, this message is for you. Bear with my oily hair. It's on purpose. Yes, it is. I'm telling you. I, uh, I mentioned it in Aquarius that my hair is it's like very oily right now, but I'm intentionally not washing it right now. It needs the natural oil, <laughs> but it looks really bad. So just bear with me. Um, so whoever this message is for, Pisces or Pisces Crosswatcher, you can also reverse this. Still is the word. Still. Still, 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 still. Not like still like a mannequin, like something that doesn't move. It's more like still. I think this is someone who still, uh, I mean, it's more than thinks about you. It's, it's, it's more than thinks about you, baby. It's like, uh, it's heavier than that. Like a lot. There is something also to do with a bird or a hawk, specifically a hawk, like watch you like a hawk, you know? Oh, maybe they, maybe they literally do. Maybe that's actually it. Somebody here watches you like a hawk or, uh, they think about you like a hawk, you know, that bird's eye view. They're very, um, they probably watch you more than you even know that they watch you vice versa. Somebody here definitely is, um, they keep a close eye on you and they have this whole time, whatever that means. They've kept a close eye on you this whole time. You, I think, I think that maybe you affected somebody more than you realized that you've affected them in, in their life. Okay. I don't know wh who this is to you. I don't know what the connection is. Meaning, is it an ex? Maybe. Is it someone you kind of had a little fling with? Maybe. Is it someone you used to work with and y'all like each other, but never went anywhere? I don't know. I do think that there was a romantic element to this. The interesting thing is this person could very well be in a relationship but you're not. Okay. Unless it's reversed, then you're the one watching. You're the one in the relationship or talking to someone involved with someone still watching the other, right? But either way, let's say it's them watching you. Cause I think for the majority it is like a hawk, like a hawk. You know what I'm hearing in my head now? Like a hawk. Um, <laughs> this is going to sound awful. <laughs> I'm still kind of dealing with some congestion here, but it's like, I'll wait for you there like a stone. <laughs> Is that how it goes? Hold on, wait. I'll wait for you there. My eyes feel weird. I'll wait for you there like, like a stone. It's a song called Like a Stone by Audio Slave. Like a hawk, like a stone. <clears throat> What's the song about? Oh my God. In your house, I long to be room by room patiently. I'll wait for you there like a stone. And on my deathbed, I will pray to the gods and the angels like a pagan to anyone who will take me to heaven to a place I recall. I was there so long ago. The sky was bruised, the wine was bled, and there you led me on. Hold, hold up. There's a reason I'm getting this song. <clears throat> Audio slave, like a stone, song meaning. Like a Stone by Audio Slave is a song that explores the themes of loneliness, mortality, Regret, there you go. Longing and the search for meaning. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you this. Somebody here is definitely scared of death. I don't know why they think about it so much. Somebody here thinks about death a whole lot. But um, there's nothing wrong with it. I do as well, but I'm also an Aries and we obsess about death. We have like this weird fucking fantasy. I don't know what it is, but we think about death a lot. Or we like horror movies. We're really into graveyards. We love death. We love it. Like there's something about it that just kind of like interests us. We, we know it's inevitable. It's going to happen. Anyway, somebody here thinks about death a lot. Maybe even thinks about their own mortality. Thinks about when they're going to die. Death. But also contemplates the deeper, darker things of life that most, most people don't think about, right? This person is thinking about those things and also they're, they're thinking about their life and they're thinking about, they're contemplating life and the, and, and how long we are alive here on this planet and this, that, and this and the other and the fifth and the ninth and the 10th and all this and numbers. And they think this is a deep person. They, you would be shocked how 
deep this person's mind goes. But in the midst of all this swirling around in their mind and all the things they contemplate, they they miss you. <laughs> like it's some, some of these people even, it feels as if they could even be living like a whole ass double life. Like they could have a whole ass family, a whole ass connection over here. Meanwhile, wondering like, or maybe even not just wondering, but like fantasizing what, what life would look like if they were to reconnect with you or to be with you instead. Now, let's say this person doesn't have a whole ass family or whatever, but they still are involved with someone like an ex or something, right? This is, this is going, this is all over the place, but it's okay. This is the message, okay? Uh, it also delves into the human condition and the emotions that come along with existential contemplation. I told you they're contemplating. This person thinks a whole shit ton. And they definitely think about you, still. Still. This is someone who still thinks about you. The thing is, it's interesting. Why do I feel like they are a bit like a bird? Like they fly for, they fly here and they, they rest for a minute and they get up and they fly here and they rest on the fence and they get up and then they fly over here and they rest on top of this tree and they get up and they fly over here and they rest on the telephone pole and they get in, they fly. You get the point here? Like someone here is, um, well, they've also been here many lifetimes, like a lot. Okay. They've been here a lot. And, um, it wouldn't even matter the, what they have established here. Like if they have their own like type family thing going on right now or relationship, whatever it looks like, because inwardly they're thinking about everything else. They may even be thinking about like temporary escapes from where they currently are, their current reality, their current, whatever it looks like, you know, and then having an experience here and then, uh, and then coming back to it, returning back to it. Do, do you know what this reminds me of? Because it's a little confusing. And my eyes are doing something weird. I feel like, does, does this person either wear contacts, glasses, needs contacts, glasses, tends to squint a lot, looks at a computer a lot, looks at a phone a lot, something new with the eyes need to be checked, or eye issues, eye problems, maybe even has light colored eyes. And I only say that because light colored eyes tend to be affected greatly by uh, light. Uh, what was I going to say? Midlife crisis. That's what this feels like. Someone here having a midlife crisis. Why in the hell is the light bothering me? I'm about to like pause this video again. All right. The word alone is repeated throughout the song, which emphasizes feelings of isolation and the yearning for connection. Yeah. So I'm saying, even if somebody does have somebody they're with or talking to or in and out of their life, somebody they fuck with, even if they have several people, it doesn't matter because this person wants real genuine connection. And the only one that they've ever had real genuine connection with, believe it or fucking not, is you. It's you. Um, even in your disconnection, like even in times when you weren't speaking, this person and you are so fucking connected that even if y'all weren't ever together, because uh, it's like you have this telepathic type uh, psychic connection with each other. You can communicate without words. So this person feels you very strongly. It's like you've, you've definitely had past lives together. I mean, we don't have to get on that. I mean, how would we ever even know? But I can feel it. You know, like, that's how uncanny the vibe is here. It's just like, um, I don't know how this person comes off on the outside. Sorry, I ate a bagel earlier, and I think that that is a poppy seed. Um, I think this person is, uh, very, they can, they can get depressed. Yeah, they do. They can tend to get actually very depressed. I didn't even hit the timer. Give me a minute. This is like really bothering me. Something's going on with my eyes. All right, we're back. It was fine. I checked my eyes in the mirror. I'm like, why are my eyes feeling like that? But it's, it's fine. I don't know. Somebody also hasn't seen you in a while. <clears throat> mm, boy, these messages, this, this period of time, they are really deep. Like there's so many people contemplating life and death. So many people contemplating their current situations. So many people contemplating uh, their career. So many, so much contemplation, so much spiritual awakening, so much going back to go forward, so many arrows, so many feathers, so many signs, symbols, synchronicities, so many revelations, really. There's so many fucking people going through that. And it's interesting that we're right here at the tail end because Pisces is at the end. It's the fin. It's like... Um, we're coming full circle here. 
you know, still. So yeah, somebody's still thinking about you. They're watching you like a hawk, like a stone. They, um, I don't know. This person's could they could be older than you, vice versa. Unless it's entirely reversed, you could be older than them. And I only say that because unless somebody's just got an old soul here, because somebody thinks a lot about death. They contemplate um, everything deeply. This is someone who may even really like, uh, I don't know, philosophy or something. They may like to read. They may be wanting to write. Maybe they are a writer or they are considering writing a book or have written a book. Love reading books. Love books. Love philosophy. Love poetry. Love art. Maybe even dark art. Deep art. This person um, can have a, even dark humor, really. Yeah. This person can have dark humor. I even sense that this individual can... Um, <clears throat> There's something that they have before or they currently do delve in. I don't know if this is pornography or it's um, maybe even alcohol, right? I can always pick up on that. It's something that either they, they once delved into or they still currently do. Um, I'm just saying it's, they have a, they've got that in there. I sense it. But anyway, like a stone, like a hawk still hawk um but but i mean where is this going i don't know because i don't think this is someone who's like up and going to leave whatever their current reality is i don't know where it is but whatever they're they're currently established in i don't think they're going to leave it although they they spiritually leave it they physically are there but spiritually they're with you spiritually you know maybe physically sometimes they may want to meet up or do whatever or you know, they're contemplating doing that again or wanting to do that period with you, but they, they still physically will return to this reality that they've created for themselves. Uh, but spiritually they're, well, really kind of all over the place, but they're with you. I, I mean, I gotta say, I don't, I don't know how I'm making this person come off, but I don't, I don't have a problem with them. I find them to be very interesting. They would be, um, they would be a really great artist, <laughs> this person. <laughs> they would, they would be a very great artist. I could see them doing some type of art and then, you know, there's so many things that can be considered art. I mean, so many things can be considered art. This person, uh, I don't know. I can, I can see them doing so many things and it's almost like I can see them in different lifetimes. I'm not kidding. I can see them sitting at a play, sitting down at like an orchestra seeing uh, the band, the orchestra perform before them, like way back in the day when the orchestra used to be on a stage and the lights, there were no lights, there were candles and lanterns that lit the stage and real fire. I can see this person sitting in the audience. Um, I can see them uh, with a top hat, you know, if it's a male, even a female, maybe even at times had to dress like a male to get in certain places. Like I can see this person, I can see them. Okay. This is very, um, their, their soul, <laughs> super interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. In fact, I find them to not really fit in this lifetime which is really weird because they're here. They're here in the physical flesh. You know who this is, but they are not, they don't fit in this life. They're very odd in this life. They know it too. They're very aware of it. But I mean, they do things to blend in with the rest of society, right? This is so fucking specific, but like they take pictures and shit and they'll do whatever, but there's something not of this time. <laughs> like I really don't know who the fuck this message is for I don't know what else to say it's very hard to look at the camera too because it's really bright and it only started happening in yours it's like um whew, it kind of reminds me of the movie Tuck Everlasting um if you guys have seen that they like basically drink from this water at the base of a tree and they never die after that. Like they can't die. It's like vampiric, really. They can't die after that. Um, and then, but they love many times they love, but the people they love end up dying because they don't drink the water and they end up passing. So 
they go through every lifetime, you know. Now, I'm not saying that's what this person is, like a vampire. This person is, you know, immortal. No, they, they are mortal. But uh, they're in a mortal body, but their soul is... It's like they leave no sooner and come right back. They're on a loop. Why? My thing is, they don't even like this this um, generation that we're in. They don't like it. They don't like this this lifetime. They hate it. This person. They very much hate this lifetime. They hate uh, technology. They hate that we don't ride horses. They hate that we don't walk most places. They hate that no one reads anymore is how I hear it. They, they really don't like the television. They prefer plays and that type of art. They don't understand why there aren't more children playing in yards. They don't understand why people are afraid of death. Something about just, anyway, this person is deep, okay? Like really deep. Um, um, anyway, as much as they don't really like the times that we're in, for someone who doesn't like it so much, they hold on to it so greatly. Like they don't change. They, they, some of them, they've been with the same person for a long time, or they've been involved with the same ex for a long time, or they've been with the same person married to probably for, for a long time, but they're not happy. Not just with them, but just period in this life. Like, um, and when they met you, I don't know how they met you. I don't know how you and them were involved. I don't know how long y'all were involved or how deep it got, but they never felt with anyone like they do with you. It wasn't a feeling. It was a knowing, is a knowing. It's current. It is a knowing still. I'm still missing you. I'm still thinking about you. I still want you. I still love you. I still remember everything about those times we were together, those times, those days, whatever. I still, I still remember you from every fucking lifetime. I still remember you. I still do. And it's like, okay. And then they watch you. They just watch you. They observe you. It's very much like Bram Stoker's Dracula. And I picked that up in somebody else's message. I don't remember whose message I got that in, but I picked it up. Bram Stoker's Dracula. You guys have to watch it if you haven't watched it. It's very, very much like that. Okay, you're like the Winona writer here and uh, vice versa. This person is so tragically dark. I love it. I fucking love it. I don't mean dark as in like a morbid soul that is disgusting and cruel and hateful. If this person is disgusting, cruel and hateful or narcissistic, that's not who I'm talking about. This person's different. I don't know what to tell you. They're like a bat in a human body. <laughs> it's just like underworldly, but otherworldly as well. And doesn't have any ill intent. They just kind of blend with society, though they don't quite understand it. And uh, this person's very Saturnian. I would, um, I'm interested to know, like, what connection they feel to Saturn. I think they're married as well because Saturn has the rings, right? So I feel like they have a ring on their finger or they may wear a ring on their finger if they're not Saturn, if they're not, I'm sorry, if they're not married, they may wear a ring on their finger. There's something specific to do with a ring, or maybe they just like Lord of the Rings, or they have some type of ring. Possibly even spend a lot of time in a vehicle, a lot of time driving to and fro back and forth because I see like key rings anything to do with a connection to rings ring doorbell ring 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 like ring are they religious 
I'm hearing church music in my head. It's a song called Merrily Ring. It's like, uh, hmm. This person's very perplexing. <laughs> I can't, I, um, mm-hmm. They're perplexing. Whew. Wow. We'll probably have to do a bonus because, oh my God. Um, I don't usually get a whole lot of Pisces watchers. That's why I don't do a whole lot of Pisces bonuses. But I, I mean, eventually, I guess over time, maybe more Pisces will start watching my channel. I just don't, I don't have a lot of Pisces that watch me. But, um, so I guess that'll decide if I do a bonus or not. Uh, but... It would be interesting too because this is a very unique message like I don't know what the hell is going on with the eyes but this person is like killing me over here I feel like squinting like I feel like ugh. what the hell what's up with the eyes what's up with the eyes anyway oh my god guys I'm gonna throw this out here because I want to I want it to be for everybody if this is someone you've never met in person it's a complete stranger but you guys know of each other or you've come across them they've come across you possibly online I'm gonna close my eyes for a minute um, that could be why it's hard because they haven't seen you um, there could be a person here who knows that you and them are connected through past lives, okay? You are them. Somebody knows that here, vice versa. Even if you guys have never even met in person, it's been like an online thing. Or even if you guys have never been together, um, someone's going about their life, basically. Whether they're married or not, whether they're involved with an ex or not, whatever, they're going about their life focused on, maybe they're just a single parent. But they do still very much think about you, think about the times y'all have talked, if y'all have talked. They, they, and they watch you very closely. But I don't think that they're in a place where they're going to like change their current reality for the connection. Though they might have little moments of connecting, but they don't sense them going deep, deeply in. And I think that they have their reasons for that, but I don't know what it is. And it's draining the shit out of me. I feel like they have too much going on. Too much. It's like they know that they have something, some sort of karmic something to fulfill in this life. Like they have to, you know? And um, that's what it feels like to me. Like they have to. It's like I have, I have a, I have to do this. But anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to end this video with my eyes closed because I have to as well. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed it. It's, it's fucking interesting, isn't it? All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.